Hey everyone, Fetz here from 11 Bravo Gaming with another Titanfall gameplay video for you. This one's going to be a little bit more casual. I'm just going to talk about the game modes and some other things that happen in the game. Uh, not necessarily a planned topic like a tactical video. I just have really been enjoying Titanfall and there's not a lot of content on YouTube for it actually. I've been looking and I don't know if it's just because it's only on Xbox One and PC and there's not a lot of views, but I really love the game. We're going to be covering it. We're still going to cover Battlefield 4. But we're really enjoying Titanfall, so we're going to play that. Um, I'm playing Attrition here. I don't remember the name of the map. I should have looked it up, but uh, not a big deal. You guys will figure it out soon enough, and it'll be a, a moot point. I'm um, just kind of running around. One of the interesting things about Titanfall, especially a game mode like Attrition, is the verticality. I mentioned it in my beginner's guide, and I had people comment you know, saying that it's true. Like Verticality is huge in the parkour element of this game adds to that and I think uh, I don't do a very good job in this video of showing uh, parkouring and verticality it's not a great map for it but to me that's one of the most fun elements of Titanfall actually and attrition is a game mode where it really shines because you don't necessarily have objectives to go to so you're doing a lot more parkour um, now you see in the video here I keep activating my tactical ability the active radar pulse I love the active radar pulse I think it's I think the stem is the worst. I think that the cloak is very useful, but I've adjusted to it, and a lot of good players have adjusted to it. Uh, it's still pretty useful, but uh, in my mind, the the um, active radar pulse just is significantly better than either of them. So once you unlock it, that's what I suggest going to. I throw on a spider sense burn card here because I have my titan. Now, ideally, I'd rather have a burn card that uh, is like an ongoing active radar pulse. Um, or even like something a little better. This just kind of alerts me when players are near. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the video, but it just kind of gives me a ping every time there's a player near me. And I don't know what that radius is, but there's always players near you, especially in a Titan. So I found like constantly, it was like, okay, there's players near me that doesn't help me very much, but I have this really annoying ping going on in my ear. So um, yeah, in hindsight, I'm not really a big fan of this burn card. It would actually be a fine throwaway burn card to me that I use on foot so I so far I kinda split the burn cards up into like really good ones that I want to run in a Titan to maximize my Titans lifespan so uh, like I think the one card was permanent active radar and I put that on after I died and then spawned into my Titan and I had an absolutely beast time with it and just cuz I you know I'm kinda ongoing wall hacks in my Titan and seeing where everyone was. I think anything that kind of boosts your uh, damage core is good. So you see damage core online just popped up. I'm running the Atlas, which gives me the damage core. It gives me increased damage output when I am when I have that turned on. That's huge. Like being able to put extra fire down range, especially if you're using like the 40 mil cannon like this, is pretty significant. I really like uh, uh, burn cards that help with that. Also, use your core ability as much as you can. I, I turn it on right away. There aren't necessarily a lot of enemies around. I hear a lot of people saying this and I do the same thing. You want to save your damage core for when you're in like a, a firefight. Well, and then you forget to do it. You're busy. It's too late. It takes time to engage. Use it when it, use as much as you can because this is one of those things that's on a timer. It's going to recycle constantly. So you might as well get take advantage of it. It helps against uh, you know pilots as well as titans. So um, you know, definitely don't be afraid to use those. Um, Titan Warfare in Attrition is always fun. I think it's a good game mode all around. I never used to be a huge TDM player, which is what Attrition is, but um, I really like it in Titanfall for some reason. I, I guess just because I do well at it when we have a party on. I'm playing solo in this game, actually, which is rare for me. But when we have a party on, uh, we have fun in tr Attrition because I think we just always win in it. So... Uh, what are the other game modes? Uh, domination, I think it's Hardpoint Domination. is just like Domination from Call of Duty. One of my favorite game modes of all time. I haven't gotten nearly enough time in it in Titanfall to talk about it too much yet. But I look forward to playing a lot of that. And uh, Last Titan Standing is another one. I did not think I was going to love Last Titan Standing. And I love it. We played it in the Variety Pack first. And as soon as we hit it, we had one of the most fun games of the entire night playing Last Titan Standing. Um, if you don't know what it is, you just get 
Uh, one Titan. Once your Titan is dead, you can eject and keep playing as a pilot, but once you die, you're done. It's uh, single elimination, no respawn. Once one team uh, has every Titan eliminated, they lose. So that's there's no other way to win or lose but eliminate all the Titans. So it becomes a 6v6 Titan battle with a lot of strategy, you know, flank right, flank left, flank strong side. The strong side strategy is coming to play because you want to push more Titans to their weak side and then get that backdoor flank in on their strong side that they go to. It's a lot of luck and a lot of strategy, a lot of map knowledge, and then just good players in the Titans. If you have a weak player in a Titan, it kind of really hurts you. I see people try to go auto tight and run around and rodeo and stuff that never works that at least in, against us that's a really bad strategy um, but last Titan standing a lot more fun than I expected I have really been enjoying it ironically I get kind of tired of it fast I prefer to have it come up in variety pack because uh, you know four or five games and I'm ready to play something else so um, it's a good mix though I'm really impressed capture flag capture flag is much harder than I expected <laughs> Uh, we struggle a few times playing Capture Flag. We've had some really good games, but um, very difficult maps for Capture Flag. Not in a bad way necessarily, but just in a learning curve kind of way. So I haven't got enough time in with Capture Flag to really make any videos of it. I know I said I wanted to and I plan on it. Uh, it's just, you know, there's only so much time in the day. My wife's pregnant, I'm very busy at work, and uh, I play as much as I can. And I've been sleeping about four hours a night, actually. So <laughs> Titanfall has definitely been worth it. Um, but I haven't got enough time in Capture Flag yet. Pilot Hunter is a pretty, um, it's a nice addition. You only get uh, points towards winning for killing pilots. The NPCs don't count. And, uh, you know, you win by killing pilots. So it's kind of a variation of Titan. Last Titan standing, but not really. It's more, um, puts the focus on killing pilots, which is, I can see why they included it. Um, I don't notice too much difference between it and attrition because when I play attrition, I kind of do the same thing. I just try to kill pilots. Um, the, the difference is obvious to you. I'm sure if you're listening, you're thinking, well, attrition, you actually get rewarded for killing grunts and specters. So also, specters are, uh, what, 30 XP and grunts are 20, I think. I wasn't sure about that in my last video. So um, there is a big difference, but for me, the way I play... Um, Attrition is mostly going after pilots, and I let some of the less experienced players go after the NPC carriers. Now, don't get me wrong, if I come across some grunts or specters, I'd take them out, but uh, usually I'm looking for pilots because that's who can kill me generally. So, um, other than that, um, you know, I want to talk about the active radar pulse. I've really been liking that. I think it's really good. The thing you have to remember is it's really good, and everyone else is running it too. So, a lot of people run the cloak, but I think at least as many people run the active radar. That is another testament to the balance of this game. They've done such a good job that both of those are worthy to run. So I think that's a good job on respawn's part. Don't camp out near your dropship like that guy, man. You will get killed every time. His buddy gets a, makes a better strategy, hides, and then runs at the last minute. I thought I was going to get him, and I didn't. He's the only evacuee, and that's always a bummer. I'm the only Titan. I think she, maybe there's one other one shooting at this thing. You need three or four. I think you need four Titans, really, to take these down. So... Um, if you see people shooting a dropship, give them a hand, take it out, guys. That would uh, definitely be appreciated. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this talk about Titanfall, and we'll be bringing you more very soon. For 11 Bravo Gaming, this is Fetz, and I'm out.